Kotar Delusion Kotar Delusion is a psychological disorder where a person believes that they are missing body parts, do not exist, or are dead. The first recorded case of Kotar Delusion was in 1788. Charles Bonnet wrote about an elderly woman that demanded that she be dressed in funeral clothing and placed in a coffin. Eventually, the family gave in to her wishes. She spent some time making sure she looked her best for burial by smoothing out her dress and complaining about the color. Eventually, she fell asleep. The family changed her clothes and put her to bed. She was given a mix of precious stones and opium to cure her. She did snap out of her delusion, but relapsed regularly until her actual death. In 1880, a middle-aged woman in France visited the office of Dr. Jules Cotard. She told him that she had no brain, nerves, chest, stomach, or intestines. She believed that her body was decomposing. Dr. Cotard called her Mademoiselle X. Because she was already dead, there was no need for her to eat, and she eventually died of starvation. Dr. Cotard went on to write extensively about the disorder, and it was eventually named after him. In 2004, Graham Harrison electrocuted himself in the bathtub during a suicide attempt. When he regained consciousness, he believed he had fried his brain. His was the first brain of a patient with Cotard delusion to be scanned. They discovered that his brain behaved like it was on anesthesia, even though he was fully awake and functioning. In a 2013 interview, Graham said that with therapy and medication, he was able to live a more normal life. Dr. Jesus Ramirez Bermudez works at the National Institute of Neurology and Neurosurgery in Mexico City. Dr. Ramirez Bermudez encountered his first case of Cotard delusion in 2000. Since then, he has treated 12 patients with the disorder, more than any other doctor in history. One of his patients, Juanita, was diagnosed at 46 years old following a stroke that caused a lesion on her brain. She believed that she had no arms or legs and that the organs had disappeared from her torso. She said that she felt completely empty. She refused to eat and stopped going to work. In the first six years of her illness, she was in and out of the hospital in Mexico 18 times. Juanita's Cotard delusions can be controlled temporarily with medication. Rafael Hernandez and his wife Gisela also live in Mexico City. Rafael has a PhD in economics. His behavior began to change in 2005, and in 2014, he began to believe that he was losing his organs. He also began to believe that his wife was dead as well. Rafael lost almost 50 pounds and was confined to the hospital. There, he received electroshock therapy. He got much better, but then like many other patients, he began to sink into his delusions again. Gisela has trouble getting Rafael to eat because he believes that his teeth and throat are broken. He's been seen by physicians and this is not true. Other sufferers include a 59-year-old in the United Kingdom that believed her legs were rotting away from lack of blood and a 62-year-old in Spain who believed he was dead and his penis was falling off. A woman in Japan quit talking because she believed her brain had quit working. Cotard delusion is rare with just over 100 cases reported worldwide since Dr. Bonet's case. It seems to be a companion disorder, often occurring with Parkinson's disease, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and even hypothermia. There are probably more cases than those that have been reported, but doctors don't or can't recognize the symptoms in patients. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe.